Hey what is going on you guys, it's Epic here and here is your no nonsense guide on how to get SDK mods working on the Dragon Keep standalone. Firstly click the link in the description which will take you to the SDK mods download page. Simply scroll down and download where it says python sdk.zip. Be careful not to download the source code, this is not what you want just python sdk.zip. While it's downloading, navigate to your install folder for Dragon Keep. Firstly, go to this PC and click on whatever storage drive you installed your game to. Then go to program files 86. Next up, click Steam library if you're on the Epic Store. And then click either Steam or Steam library. And then Steam apps, common. And then if you're on the Epic Store, it will be called TTAODK One Shot Adventure. Click .eg store, click BPS, click install, binaries, and then you'll be brought to the Win32 directory right here. If you installed with Steam, repeat the steps until you get to, once again, Steam Apps, Common, but this time the game is going to be called Poor Poor. I don't know why they called it this, but this is just the name that the Dragon Keep standalone has when you install on Steam. But simply click on that, and then once you've clicked on it, click binaries, and then win32 again. Next up, open the file that you downloaded from the GitHub website, and then once you've opened it up, click binaries, click win32, and then drag the contents of the folder into your win32 folder. Now for me, I already have mods installed, so it's going to ask me to replace the files, but for you, it should not say anything like that. If it does, you can just go ahead and replace the files, as long as you make sure that you've got all your saves and your game files backed up. Remember, you're modifying your files, so always be on the safe side. But once you're done, the next step is simply to launch your game. Now you'll know if it's worked, because when you launch the standalone on the main menu, you will have a mods tab just above the quit button you can simply click on that and then what's great about the sdk mods is that they come with the map reloader and the easy read only mod built into them as well as the backpack manager anyway guys that about does it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one